Welcome back for day 15 of my six mark challenge for AQA GCSE Science. Over the next few weeks running up to the exams, I'm posting a video every Monday to Saturday with a six mark question so that you can have a go at these extended response answers and then mark your work. You can find a link in the description below to all of the questions from this week and also the playlist containing the 15 videos so far. Today's question comes from the third topic in physics paper one, the particle model. Now, before you dive in, I just want to remind you that this is not an essay question. You do get credit for presenting your ideas in a logical order, but there aren't any marks at all for answering in paragraphs or even full sentences. So do yourself a favour and put your answer in the form of some bullet points or a numbered list or even a table. Not only is this going to take the pressure off you, but it's also going to make it very easy for your examiner to see that you have covered the full scope of the question. Now pause the video and give yourself six minutes to answer this six mark question. This question is a perfect example of where I would lay my answer out in the form of a table rather than prose, because it's really important that your examiner can clearly see that you've covered both of the aspects of the question and all of the three states of matter. So the first thing I would do would be to draw a quick table showing that I've covered all six of those things, although I'd leave a bit of space at the bottom to also put in a little bit of description. So if we start off with particle arrangement in a solid, of course, the particles are in fixed positions and they're very closely packed together. And then in a liquid, there's often this misconception that there are spaces between the particles, but they're quite small. But that's not actually the case. In a liquid, the particles are still touching each other. And that's why liquids are virtually incompressible. Then in contrast to that, in a gas, the particles are spread out and they're very far apart. Then if we think about the particles movement in a solid, the particles aren't still, they're just vibrating in fixed positions. Whereas in a liquid, the particles are able to move past each other. And then in a gas, we have this random motion. Now, the question does say you need to explain the changes, not just describe them. So we need to say, why are these changes happening? And the first part of that would be that they haven't actually named the state changes here. So we probably need to do that. So obviously, as we go from a solid to a liquid, that's melting and then going from a liquid to a gas is boiling. And that happens because the particles are absorbing energy. And as they absorb energy, they're able to overcome the forces between the particles. Now, in quite a few of these videos so far, we've said that you don't need to include everything that I have on the slide in order to get six marks. But actually here, the question does require you to talk about solids and liquids and gases, and it does require you to talk about particle arrangement and movement, and it does say explain. So actually, in order to get into that level three, we kind of are going to have to do everything. So I would say that if you said any two true things on this slide, you can probably have your level one answer. But to get into level two and get three or four marks, you are going to need to discuss particle arrangement and movement, or possibly you could get away with particle arrangement along with the description or movement along with the description. But that's probably less likely for you to have done. And then in order for us to get into that level three, we are going to need to make sure that we've discussed all three states and also included this bit about absorbing energy and overcoming the forces, because that's how you do the explain part of the question. For day 16 of the six mark challenge, we're going to be looking at the carbon cycle, which does come up in both the biology papers and the chemistry papers. But here we've specifically said that we're looking at it in living organisms. So it's a biology question. Don't forget that you can get access to all of this week's questions and also the playlist with all the rest of the videos in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and I hope I'll see you again tomorrow for day 16 of the six mark challenge. If you found this video useful, then don't forget to like and subscribe for more GCC Science revision videos coming soon.